I'm Madeline, a child life volunteer at Shands Hospital. Today, I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to do an Elsa inspired hairdo. Things you'll need include two bobby pins, a hair tie, and a hairbrush. Okay, for the first step, you're gonna take a top layer of your hair and make a little circle around the top of your head. You should have about this much hair. You're going to go ahead and create a front bump with the hair that you have in your hand. To do so, you're going to straighten it out and make a tiny little ponytail on the back of your head. Then you'll twist it and push it forward. You'll take the two bobby pins and you'll pin one going diagonally one way and the other going diagonally the other way just like this. Your side bump should look like this. Next, you're gonna take another section of hair going around your head like so. The section should be about this thick. Separate it out from the rest of your hair and go ahead and split this section into three parts. Just like this. Next, you're gonna take the section on your right and go underneath the middle section, making sure to keep the hair taut. Then you're gonna take the section on the left and also go under the new middle section, like so. You can regroup and make sure everything is staying tight. Go ahead and repeat the steps a few more times until you get something that looks like this. Continue to complete the process by taking another section, adding to the strand, and tucking it under the middle. Take another section, add it to the strand, and tuck it under the middle. Continue the process until you get to the bottom of the head. Once you reach the bottom of the head, you're gonna go ahead and continue just a normal braid all the way down to the bottom. Make sure you keep your braid tight so that any flyaways get tucked in, like this one. Once you get to the bottom of the braid, go ahead and twist it off with your hair tie. It's okay if you see a little bit of flyaways on your braid, as we'll fix that in a second. If you have a flyaway like this one, take another bobby pin and go ahead and tuck it in to your braid, just like this. Once you get a full braid like this, you're gonna go back over and you're gonna pluff out some of the pieces. This way your braid looks thicker and fuller. Once you're done fluffing, you're gonna get a braid that looks like this. You can go ahead and throw your braid over your shoulder and have it look like this. No matter how it looks, just remember that you can become any character that you wanna be. Having fun with your hair is the most important part. I hope you join us again soon for another kind of tutorial like this. Thanks for viewing.